We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. What do we got here, Doctor? I don't know. I don't know if she's going to make it. We've got a really complicated situation here. There's a, a lot of symptoms here that I've never seen before here in the, in the uh, Rio Dolce. It's really, really rare, but we're going to do the best we can to keep her alive. Okay, what do you need? Uh, first things first, uh, scalpel. Okay, I'm going in. I don't think she's gonna make it. I'm losing her! I'm losing her! I think she's flatlining! Time of death? Time of death. Five o'clock. You did your best. You were the best. <laughs> <laughs> Our sail from Puerto Rico to Turks and Caicos was officially our longest trip yet, and it was longer than expected due to the couple of days with dead calm seas. We anticipated the passage to take us three full days to reach our destination, but ended up being a four-day trip. The passage was a total of 360 nautical miles, and we had to motor about 30 hours. However, we arrived just in time to welcome our friends aboard for the next couple of weeks in Turks and Caicos. Say what? We made it to Turks and Caicos! Today is the day we pick up Rule and Danny. I'm cleaning the bedrooms. Yeah, it takes a lot. We gotta get this ship, ship shape. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot, we're a day late and kind of a dollar short now. But we'll get there. Oh. Oh, Alright, so welcome cool. guys! Oh, Woo! Awesome! Cool. Freaky. Wonder how long that's been going. We are in a lightning storm. Our first real day in Turks and Caicos. And it is lightning all around us.
right, honey? It ruined the boat. The insurance company figured it was going to be more to replace all the electronics and all of the wiring than the boat was worth, and they wrote them a check and they bought a new boat. Not a brand new boat, but new to them. You know, and it's not, it's not unlikely and they know three other people who've been struck by lightning things. and have had all their electronics damaged. I think some damage is almost a guarantee. I've read about people who have had a lightning strike close to their boat and it damaged things on the boat. I mean, they're, it's, 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 they're sensitive, you know, computers. And that lightning strike produces a lot of electrical current and that electromagnetic pulse just hosts things. That's why everything's sitting in the oven right now, in the microwave. Really? Yep. Because it can block some of that, so, I don't know. This is freaky. Alright, babe? Man, I tell you what, it's been a rough couple days, honestly. Um, we had real low winds coming up from Puerto Rico which wasn't necessarily rough, except that we spent a lot of diesel fuel, and that's not the way we like to move. Um, but whatever, we got here, and now it's been all stormy and windy the whole time we've been here. So yesterday we had a electrical storm, which was a nightmare. That really freaked us out, but never got hit, so it's good. Close. Real, 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 real close. While Erica was pulling up the chain, a lightning bolt hit 50 yards away, and it freaked us out the the report the thunder was instantaneous lightning bolt report that was nuts but today we say goodbye to jackie unfortunately and but we do welcome two other guests chris and abby um it's gonna be a good time with them so we're gonna have a full house of chris abby and rule and danny right now so we'll be here for a week with them it should be a good time if it ever clears up Welcome. Love the earrings. Thanks. Whoa. I mean, you can definitely see the bottom. <laughs> yeah, buddy. What a storm. Jesus. Jesus. Pretty gnarly. to go? Yeah. Maybe have a little better luck than yesterday? It's sunny now. Let's hope so. Rule, oh, what do you think? Let's pray to the gods, but I think we'll make it. We want to avoid that crap. I think we should all get out of here. Yeah, let's do this. Unfortunately, the storms continued to come and go all day long for the first four days of cruising in Turks and Caicos. Day two of the Caribbean. Woo woo! <laughs> really rocking it out here. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. Thank <laughs> you.
know it's been stormy all day, but we have a break in the storm and it is gorgeous out right now. Skies out, thighs out, ladies. Wow. Skies out, thighs out. <laughs> Look at that dust. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Now. We were beginning to get a little cabin fever from being stuck on the boat all day long. A few card games later and a bottle of rum, things started to get a little goofy. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, billy diddly, there they are, standing in a row. Bum, 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 big ones, small ones, some as big as your head! That's all we know. <laughs> That's all anyone knows, really. Alright, three, two, one. Alright, three, two, one. One. <laughs> Which must have ultimately captivated the attention of the weather guys because it soon brought us sunshine okay. for the remainder of the trip. Let's launch out. Got it. Ready? Go. Yeah! Wow, girl. Well done. Rescue Pink Noodle, let it commence. Starboard. We've got our grabbers. Okay. Phase one, okay? Phase two right. locked and loaded. You got eyes on it, Danny? Yeah. Locked and loaded, Ramathor. Here we go. We got the noodle. We got the noodle coming. As the weather got better, we lifted anchor to move to the lee side of the island, hoping to find some white sandy beaches and show our friends what cruising is like here in the Caribbean. Once inside the reef break, it's we cruised up to Grace Bay towards Little Water Key for a dreamy day Ooh. of no rain, clouds, or thunderstorms, and spent the afternoon savoring the sunshine exclusively to ourselves. Sha. Kiss you. Kiss you. 
feel like I'm in the movie blue again. Looking for the hoochie hoochie people. First week in Turks flew by too quickly, and it was time to send home some of the crew, sadly. We once again loved showing our friends what our lives have been like in the last seven months and had hoped for better weather to hoist the sails more than we did, but we surely expect Rule and Danny to come back soon. <laughs> On the other hand, we had a few more days to spend adventuring Turks and Caicos with Chris and Abby, so we set out to do exactly that. You make it work real hard. <laughs> this is stupid. This is stupid. Shrek the egg! Shrek the egg! Yeah! Let's go on adventure to the big ship! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it for sure. You guys ready? Is the moose ready? All right. It was awesome, I love it. <laughs> Did you hit your butt? No, it looked like it. What do you think? That was pretty freaking wild. Absolutely insane. Uh, we just voted out 
to an oil tanker that sank about 14 years ago. Didn't really sink. The chain broke to the anchor and it floated away and beached itself and it's been there ever since. Luckily, completely upright. Completely oh, upright. Yeah. You can snorkel around it, jump off of it, do a backflip if you're crazy like Warren. <laughs> Climb all around it. It was crazy inside too. It was just nuts. Um, all of the cabinets were still in there. I mean, they were waterlogged, but it was... I thought I found the treasure chest, but it could just be the radio. I saw that treasure chest towards the back. <laughs> Yeah, that was I wild. think it was just a radio. <laughs> there was still park hat wood flooring in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, still laid out. Wasn't even, like, torn up or anything. You yep. could see it rusted oh, yeah. out. Bathroom appliances and stuff. Yeah, it was really cool. When we returned from the wreck, we were warmly greeted by some new friends. A mama and baby dolphin curiously swam around the boat for the remainder of the afternoon. Even Jojo, the local known bottlenose who freely interacts with humans, came over for a visit while we sat on the bow watching them play well into the sunset. God, you gotta be kidding me. Hi. Thanks for watching the adventures of we be sure to join us next week when we spend our last night in turks and caicos with abby and chris at a local fish fry and then set sail for the bahamas where we begin to explore the exumas don't forget to subscribe and consider being our patron if you like what you see